we're going to have a look this morning about how to set up different types of views and use the existing model that we have here and export that out of Archicad to be able to create views, whether that's plans, elevation sections, or 3Ds, to help our design process. So when we have our Archicad model, of course, what we're talking about is a three-dimensional model, which has been built with things like walls, roofs, slabs, windows, doors, and objects. And then from that, we're creating views. We're creating floor plans. We're creating sections or sectional views, which is a horizontal view, but it's cut through the building. And we're creating elevations, which are external horizontal views of the building. Now, in addition to those, particularly when we're talking about interiors, we want to be able to have three-dimensional views to be able to understand the space as much as possible. Now, when it's a smaller type of space, so a, norm a normal residence, a house, then it can be tricky in order to be able to see enough in one view. So what we did previously was to set up some saved views. So we see that the project map is where we have the base information, so the base stories, sections, elevations. We can then create saved views in our view map. And so here we have already created a kitchen perspective one and a kitchen perspective two, basically in the, the two different directions. We'll just repeat how we did that from scratch just to make sense of that process. So if I want to view all of this model, in order to view this model, the best way to do that is to right click show all in 3D. Now, if I was to only choose a small portion, let's say I was just trying to look at this piece of joinery that we were making outside, I'd select it, right click, and then say show selection in 3D instead of show all in 3D. Now, if I want to see this house and everything, including the joinery, I'll say show all in 3D. And that will take me back to the last 3D view that I was in. If that, however, for you is an awkward view and doesn't make much sense, we're going to click fit in window. And that's going to effectively zoom to the extent of the model. We can then use our orbit tool, which is the one that looks a little bit like a donut or a circle, to spin around our building. And the way that we do that is to hold down our left button on the mouse and then move the mouse from side to side. We can also scroll to zoom in or zoom out. Now, depending on whether you're using a PC or a Mac, you may find that you need to hold down Option in order to be able to do some of these. It really just depends on the way that your mouse settings have been set up in your preferences. So to do that, you might need to go to your system preferences to adjust. Now we can use the orbit to explore around the outside of our house, but it's not fantastic for going inside of the house. In that instance, we're going to use the explore tool. So that looks like the little person. We can see that there's some commands here. I like to use the arrow key. So with my mouse, I'm moving my head. So I'm not moving position, but I'm looking in different directions. And then if I press the up arrow, that's moving in the direction in which I'm looking. So we could say moving forward. If I want to go faster, I can hold shift and I'm going to move into a position where I can see as much as possible for the sake of this view. So I'm looking into the living space. I can see the joinery that we created last time. And when I'm happy with this view, maybe I want to move up spacebar. Maybe I want to move down the letter C. When I'm happy with this view, I will then click and that will define that view. So I'm no longer in the Explorer. If I move my mouse, we can see I'm moving my cursor, but my view isn't moving. And then I'm going to save that view by going to my saved view, or my view map, sorry, the 3D folder, right click, save current view, and I will change this to be called living room. I could say 3D if I wanted to, just to make sense of it, or perspective. Everything else is okay as it is. I'll press create, and I now have that saved view. And I can toggle between those views now that I've saved them just by double clicking 
and that takes me between each of those views very quickly. In the next video we'll have a look at how to adjust these saved views and define them with a bit more detail.